Hey friends, this is Josh Hayward and welcome to Beer with Brewpreneur. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I'm on a cooking show right now because I'm coming at you from my kitchen. Special thanks to my wife for letting me use her kitchen. I can't say I'm gonna be showing you guys how to cook anything today, but I'm gonna be showing you a pretty awesome brew. This is the Cold Snap from Sam Adams. Sam Adams being one of the oldest and largest craft breweries here in America. Um, this is a white ale coming in at 5.3%, 10 IBUs. It's a great wintertime beer, as the name suggests. We're actually going through a cold snap here in South Carolina right now and figured, hey, what better way to celebrate it than taking a look at this white ale with spices. So without further ado, here we go. Gonna get a little pour on this. A white ale uh, would fall under the category of wheat beer. Um, wheat beers, wit beers, um, having more of a, um, the predominant grain in this particular beer is gonna be wheat. So you're gonna have more wheat in it than you have malted barley. And as you can see from the wheat used in this beer, it is very cloudy, a nice golden, hazy, cloudy type color, a uh, nice white head, very subtle white head on the top of this beer, um, but very, very hazy, kind of playing off uh, kind of a haziness you might see in, a, in the, the flakes of falling snow in a way, hence the cold snap. Just kind of reminds you of a, a, a cold wintry day or what have you. Not a ton of head on this beer. I did pour semi-vigorously, but uh, just a standard white head on that. And uh, what you would expect from a wheat beer, nice haze in there, um, kind of true to the style as you would say. But uh, let's see what we've got on the nose. Mmm. The first thing I get is spice. Nice spices. I uh, can't say what spices. I'd probably have to be smelling a bunch of different things to tell you what spices. Uh, I'm getting a nice, uh, nice subtle fruity type aroma in there. Uh, maybe slight citrus, maybe orange. Nice spice. Uh, go back to maybe coriander. Um, often is used in wheat beers. Maybe that's an association in my head. Maybe I'm actually smelling that here. Couldn't tell you one way or another, but we often bring our associations to our tastes and smells. So yeah, lots of spice in this beer and uh, subtle fruit sweetness, I would say. Can't say I'm getting much from the grains. Again, wheat is predominant here. There's not a whole lot of smell with wheat. Kind of getting mainly spices on the nose. So without further ado, cheers to Cold Snap and looking forward to warmer weather actually. Cheers. Mmm. Tasty brew. The first thing I notice about this beer is uh, the mouthfeel on it. Just a very soft, subtle type beer. Um, credit the wheat in this. It lends to a very, very soft mouthfeel. It hits your tongue, it hits the palate, and just kind of rolls around. Um, nothing really harsh, nothing overly sweet, um, nothing overly bitter as you would get from like darker malts. Just a very, very soft beer, kind of kind of already setting the platform um, for the rest of the taste here. Very, very soft mouthfeel from the wheat here. I'm getting a very, very subtle sweetness maybe from some of the malt used here, maybe some paler type malt. Um, can't say what type of pale malt, but a, a definite pale malt used here. The biggest thing coming in mid taste, late taste, and even post taste as I talk to you guys is the spices used here. Um, there's a variety of spices used here. I believe the label said there's 10. Um, so I, there's no way I'm gonna be able to name them all, but uh, it really lends uh, a great flavor to this beer. Kind of the wheat serving is the platform, a subtle sweetness from some of that pale malt, and then a very, very nice uh, array of spices that, that kind of just play along the palate. Also getting a slight bit of citrus on the back end too. Uh, maybe some, some of that might be from some of the hops. Uh, also a little bit of spiciness too, uh, maybe spicy hop type variety. Again, kind of going well with the actual spices used in the brew. And as I'm talking about this sitting in a kitchen, it's kind of appropriate that I'm doing this beer. You use spices when you cook, they use spices in this beer. It works, hey, it's great. It's a very enjoyable beer, a very soft beer, something that you could um, 
just drink and enjoy while you're cooking or while you're sitting outside in, in cold weather, whatever the case may be. Um, nothing too over the top, nothing too harsh here, nothing in your face. Just a very, very nice, well-packaged beer with uh, a, a nice spicy type flavor, mid and late taste. So cheers to Cold Snap. If you love wheat beers, wit beers, white ales, give this one a try. It's, it's definitely a winner. Uh, maybe something you might could compare it to that you see a lot of is your Blue Moon. Uh, Blue Moon being a, a wheat type beer as well. Um, this one definitely has a lot more flavor and a lot more spice, I will say. Uh, as I'm looking at the label here, bright and lively. Very good description there. But cheers to Sam Adams, cheers to Cold Snap, and you guys have an amazing day.